Good morning, Glendale family. You've got Pastor Kate here and Dwayne. Okay. Together again this Sunday morning, and this is the third Sunday of Advent where we celebrate joy. And so as we come together, if you would continue typing your prayer joys and concerns in the comments box, we'll be able to share those together. Good morning, Linda. And once we've gathered a little bit more of a special joy to share all together this morning. All right. We have had several prayers coming in that I want and we'll go ahead and start together. And since Cindy's here, let's go ahead and um, be sure that we pray for her mom, Bonnie, as she moves to the first floor memory care on Tuesday. And Bonnie's looking forward to the increased socialization with the other residents in the area, and especially having all three meals together with her friends. And so, Cindy, we pray that that transition for Bonnie goes as well as it has for Dot. And Cindy Whitaker, we celebrate your mother-in-law um, doing all right and having fun and for that transition going well. So for Dot and for all of those getting care and connection that they need. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. Good morning, Bev. Good morning, Dorothy and Ron and Pam. Let's also continue prayers for Jim and their recovery. Lord, in your love, prayers. And let's also keep Betty Blazer in prayer. She is home recovering from surgery and continue prayers for a quick and uneventful recovery. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. And we are Carrie and Brady. Um, Carrie's mom has been continuing with her chemo this week that the cancer has shrunk on both her liver and pancreas, and that her number is down to 127. It was at 800 for this moment of joy and for Carrie and her mom and family. Lord, in your love, he Good morning, Mike and Jessica. And we'll join Janice and prayers um, for her friends, the Snyders, as Jerry is having some health problems. So God, if you could be that master healer for Jerry and care for him, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We also have um, a prayer request from Lisa Friesen. And we need to surround her community in prayer because a lifelong friend, uh, Dennis, of her parents has suffered a massive heart attack. Prognosis is not good. He's only... Please pray for Dennis, his wife Kathy, and their children and grandchildren as they... ...loss. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. And we're also joining Amy and Brad Remington as Amy was back home with family this week to hold vigil as her dad, Richard Job, passed. And so we're keeping those prayers of God's hope and peace and joy come mother and sister and the whole family that God may close. Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. And let's continue. Alaska, that's uh, where Kay Dunning is from, her hometown. And there are news that they're rebuilding now from the landslides and the devastation 
Um, but bad weather earlier in the week made it so that they had to call off the search for the two remaining persons. Those two families, and then also let's keep um, the entire community in prayer as they're coming together um, to clean up and to rebuild and to take care of everyone. For Haynes, Alaska, Lord, in your love, hear our prayers. And now that we've got more people, we could a little bit of joy together in that way live tomorrow birthday. So if you would join, are you here with us? You hear I can I can hear that the phone's still on, so I'm gonna trust that you can hear us. And then let's sing happy birthday to Dwayne, all four to you. Woo, happy birthday to you. Woo, happy birthday, dear Dwayne. Happy birthday to Dwayne, happy birthday tomorrow. <laughs> How are you going to celebrate? Do you have any treats coming your way? All right, Dwayne, we're going to keep praying for you, and we hope that you have a good birthday tomorrow. So um, Dwayne did also ask me to share. Um, let's keep his in prayer. She was um, diagnosed with COVID and is in the hospital recovering. Um, and that does mean that Dwayne was exposed as well. Um, but so far, he's not had any symptoms and he's doing well and had a really good sleep last night. And so we give thanks and prayers for that. And to his celebration of 95 trips around everyone in your love, hear our prayers. And let's continue. That Ginny's sister and brother, and Ginny and Paul, we pray that that goes smoothly and quickly. And God, that you surround Ginny's brother and sister in law in your prayer and in your love, healing that they're able to recover. In your love, hear our prayers. Sorry all for the internet troubles. Um, Nancy, I'm seeing that you're having trouble with sound and thanks for everybody hanging in and we'll keep doing the best that we can. As there are other joys and concerns, please share them in the feed here and we'll keep praying for each other. Barbara is asking prayers for Larry, who wrenched his couple of days ago and is in a lot of pain. Oh, Barbara, I'm so sorry to hear. That's awful. Um, I hope that you are able to rest and are able to get the pain relief that you need um, in the process of healing. I know that kind of thing takes forever, and I'm so sorry for patience for that. Ugh. Um, we're with you and we're praying that that goes quicker rather than slower. Hear our prayers. Any concerns to share? We continue keeping in prayer all uh, by the pandemic and reading Minnesota conference from the Dakota clergy sharing their experience um, of the funerals that they have had to do and the care. And it made me very grateful uh, history with you the 
that we have made and and being closed but also grateful um for the way that we have valued one another and and kept each other as safe and and i know it's not been easy especially so thank you all so much for all that you're doing linda we're joining you with prayers for greg and sherry smith and their family and this is one of those prayers pray that god will wrap them both up the hope and the peace and the joy and the love that is needed lord in your love hear our prayers there are always joys and concerns that remain unspoken in our hearts and so we'll take a moment for those that are happening as well we don't even know anything about the battles that people are facing that we are unaware of but that god is and we pray god's continued for all of the communities and for all of the children that need that care lord in your love hear our prayers and cindy we absolutely join you in thanksgiving and joy that kevin cindy's son's austin injured when he was hit by a car while and pray that that keeps coming and and are grateful that um that nothing worse both kevin and the dog are safe lord our prayers and absolutely cindy we continue in celebration and joy dot as she in, continues to improve and memory care and i heard mention of a sleigh ride dot got a sleigh ride earlier this week just there seems to be lots of good things happening and we pray that that continues lord in your love hear our prayers bob and janice how are you settling into the new house and doing there's been a lot of work on your plate these last couple months Grandparents, how are you all doing with all the help with grandkids and school? teachers in the house, right? Yay, Nancy. So the sound came back on and worked out. Thanks for your persistence in sticking with it. Are there other joys and concerns to share? Anything else, Dwayne? Doing all right. How are you holding? As we take a brief pause, um, I'll take this moment to talk about pause. More calls next week to follow up with folks, but wanted to check that connected. We don't want anyone to be left out or isolated this season. And so wanting to be in a pod, but haven't found anyone, um, send me an email, give me a call. I'd love to to you. And we want to make sure that all of us on each other. And thank you so much to those of you who have already started and doing that. I know there's one pod tomorrow night meeting up to go see Christmas. Let us appetize. That's that is the call. Cynthia and how concentrating and finding joy um, a really important practice and something that can help our anxiety and help center us in the midst of this time and nancy we join in celebration for the milder weather um 
It is. It's really nice to not have any ice and make walking more doable and safer. I'm sorry, I just thought of Kevin in that moment. <laughs> no ice, but he still got hit by that car. Um, girl, walking is still more safe than than is typically happening this winter season. Cindy, absolutely. We join you and let's all together pray for the Hidden Valley family um, that Glendale has adopted for Christmas prayers that the gifts are able to be found for the children. And thank you to all of those um, who have already bought some. I know Chris and Cheryl were working on some archaeological gifts and um, and so continue prayers and thank you for all of those um, of you who are helping to this family and then also for all of you who are out on Wednesday supporting um, the food pantry we had open door this and got deliveries made and all of our Christmas Eve donations will be given to in um, checks and and support so that we can continue to help resource them and their promise to not close and to be community um in the of need so thank you all for all that you're making possible lord in your love hear our prayers are there additional joys and concerns All right, well, um, our core team has been working on budget, and if you have sent in your pledge cards, we would um, still love to receive those. Um, if that's uh, possible, would be would be all right uh, this coming year, and so please send those in, and if you need a card, them. Are there other joys and concerns? Let me bring up um, announcements, charge conference. As, um, and these are concerns that you would like to share. And do please remember that charge conference is next online you have to register and that deadline is m and so please remember that um if you haven't done that yet need to that link from the church and so you can go there and find that but by 8 a.m tomorrow you have to be if this is important please do that and we will be gathering with um, many different churches in our district and have a with Cynthia and to hear from her and from one another and then we'll be going into to do the voting for each individual church and that includes our leadership um, for next year and um, as well as my uh, compensation package as well and we'll be also affirming and Linda and Mike and their conference training and certification as lay speakers and servants. So please do come out for that. We also have a, a special uh, vote uh, to complete uh, our grant from the conference. For those of you who haven't heard, we got $10,000 uh, from the conference for next year for our mission quest work and we'll be at, um, at charge conference as well and join you uh join you in prayers for the safe delivery of and for all of uh, those who have been at work making this moment possible lord in your love hear our prayers all 
All right. Oh, thank you, Linda. Linda is helping me remember. It takes a village. So not this coming Monday, but next. Um, we'll be coming on Blue Jeans, uh, and, and that's Monday, December the 21st, and it's the longest night of the year. And so instead of having a um, Christmas kind of service, since we've kind of lived the longest night of the year, this whole entire year this year, we thought we'd do a carol sing along at 7 o'clock on Monday and just um, send Lisa or myself included and we will send that to you. Denny, it's great to see you. Merry Christmas. Tell us how your puppy's doing, Denny. Prayers for all of our furry companions who are taken this year and this season. We've had some pretty glorious snuggles from Olaf over here. In fact, he's just on the other side of this computer, making sure that we're all okay. All right, I'll leave this open for a couple more minutes. Um, and then I just have one more announcement to give you a heads up. Um, that we will have a video for you um, later today um, with Vespers at um, um, for the Vespers. Very excited to celebrate the Sunday and light the candle of joy with you. And we do have costumes. So, so make sure you join us for Vespers. And then after that, I'll be able later this evening to uh, post a video from Mary Randall, our outgoing SPRC chair. Um, she and Gretchen and SPRC and our staff have been working on my renewal leave um, that we have this spring and fall. And um, we've heard um, we're going to be breaking it up into segments so I won't be taking April through July as we originally planned. we're hoping it easier um, in the in the midst of all of the unknown and the changes for next year that taking it in to make sure doing open also retired clergy and those two lay speakers and lay servant that we named earlier uh, to to provide coverage so i'm i'm very grateful that we have such incredibly with this and it's looking like i will month of january here coming up and that'll give me a chance to reground in my faith and and my how I love God with heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we'll have more details for you. And that video will be posted later tonight. And then we'll have that letter uh, for you attached to. And Cindy, we uh, join you in Thanksgiving for young holy It turns out prayers and it's been wonderful hearing the stories from Thrive and from there that the whole team is getting and have fun in the the stress of all right any other prayers any other joys any other concerns church family and we'll close with the Lord Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass and lead us not into temptation for us from evil. For that and the power 
and the glory forever and ever. All of the love and Denny here's to having good coffee for prayer. It's been so gather with you all and we'll see you at 4.30 for some joy-filled Vespers.